Sonia Duval, 18th of the 9th, 8 p.m. Sonia, can I start by asking you about the name of your winter collection, Black Ice? For someone so associated with colour, it seems an odd choice. Well, black isn't a colour, it's a mood. Right now, I'm trying to give my clothes a more aggressive quality. When you talk about aggression, is that something you feel yourself? What do you mean? All the adverse criticism you got last season and last spring in Milan. I don't read the critics. There's so much jealousy in the fashion business, but uh, I don't let it get to me. What was it? Princess of Wales has stuff by Sonia Duval. She's one of the country's top designers, and three weeks ago she started receiving death threats, anonymous letters, phone calls. So why didn't we hear about it then? Local police just thought it was the work of a crank at first, but last night's attack changes all that. Sonia's winter show was targeted in two of the letters, so I'm gonna put a security net around the show until it's finished. I want a visible police presence front of house and undercover officers behind the scenes. Slade, that's you. Oh, and Turner, if you're not too busy, I want you as well. I am too busy. Well, it can wait. I can't go undercover, I'm not a detective. Backstage, Turner, I need someone who can sew. I can't sew? Well, improvise. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down to the end. Back to go, Charmaine. That's right, down. Two turns. And the smoke should be starting about now. Where's the smoke, Clifford? <laughs> right How's it going? Sonny Slade, it's a complete waste of my time. Well, you were right about the sewing. Is that why they call it cross-stitching? Stop, stop, stop! What's happened to the smoke? Have the smoke tomorrow. You said that yesterday, Clifford. I want to see it now. You'll have your smoke. You'll have your scrim. You'll have your barbed wire. You'll have everything you asked for. I asked for the logo. The Black Eyes logo. It's right here. We were just waiting for a break. Can we have the logo now, please? Sonia, is this OK? No, it's not OK. It's useless. I said I wanted the hem taken down two inches. Yeah, but do it again. Hey, look on the bright side. It's only one more day. Yes. And if someone shoots her tonight, it means you can have tomorrow off. No one's going to shoot her, Slade. If you ask me, Grisham's just overreacting. How'd you work that one out? She's not such a big name. I mean, no one buys her stuff anymore, so who'd want to see her dead? Somebody who's already tried once. Maybe. But hasn't it occurred to you that all this free publicity she's getting just before her big show might be exactly what she's looking for? Who put that logo up? It was assembled here last night. It's horrible. It's horrible. Well, take this down for heaven's sake. Was there anyone in the church last night? No, the building was locked, but uh, anyone could have got in. Slade, will you take me home? We haven't done the finale. I've had enough, Clifford. I want to go home. Come on. Come on, everyone. Let's finish here. Do you need a hand with that? No. No, thank you. Do you have any idea who might be doing this? The way my dear sister treats people would be easier to ask who doesn't want her dead. Your sisters? Wouldn't guess, would you? N no, no, I can see it now you mention it. I'd look more like her if I could afford her sort of clothes and a year-round tan. Yeah, well, one day I'll show her. What do you mean? No, it doesn't matter. Now, uh, if you don't mind, uh...
you mind helping me with some of this stuff? Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> Night duty, Morris? Till bloody midnight. <laughs> Come in, Jeff. I'll bring you out a cup of cocoa. I just wish I knew why they were doing this. Do you have any enemies? Only the critics. They murdered my last show. Maybe they've decided to start on me. How about personally? <sighs> People in this business may be crazy, but they're not mad. Don't worry, you'll be all right. I feel safe when I'm with you. You know, when they told me I had to have a police bodyguard, you're not at all what I expected. <laughs> Well, you were lucky. You could have got Morris. Are you married? I was. You're a very attractive man, Jeff. You should let me dress you. I don't think tangerine is my colour. Cheers. Oh, you look knackered, Slade. Yeah. I bet. You there all night, then? <laughs> what do you think? Twisted your arm, then, did she? She certainly made it hard for me to say no. <coughs> Nasty cold you got there, Morris? All right for you, Slade. I was the one stood on that bloody doorstep. <laughs> At least you've got a bed for the night. Yeah, and I dreamt of you. Hi. Good morning. Listen up. I won't keep you long. I just want you to check your positions for the day. Slade, Turner, backstage, Morris, Robson, in the audience, and the rest of you, as agreed. Okay, there's just one other thing. This is today's Express. I thought we were trying to keep this out of the press. Well, we were, but someone's been talking. The Sun, the Mirror, and the Mail have all got the same. There was nothing in The Guardian. This is going to make our task doubly difficult. We'll be watching Sonia Duval, but now the public will be watching us. Be careful. I don't want any mistakes. Hi. What are you doing? My job. The CPS want these results by the end of the week, so if you don't mind. What's wrong, Holly? Did you get out of your time machine the wrong side this morning? No. Then what is it? Just got something to do with Sonia Javel. Why should it have? You don't like her, do you? I don't trust her. And I still think this whole thing has been blown out of proportion. Mm. So it's nothing personal, then? No. Personally, I don't like it either. What's she done to upset you? Nothing. <laughs> you know, and I'm really happy for you. I just find it amazing you can be so... So what? Brazen. Slade, there you are. What are you doing in here? What's up, Chief? It's been a development. Yeah, a policy of this size is so unusual that when I saw this, well, I felt I had to speak to you. What size are we talking about? Three million pounds. <whistles> Payable in the event of accidental or violent death. That's why I felt I had to talk to you when I saw the paper. Lucky you don't take The Guardian. Did Mr. Javel take this policy out himself? No. And that's just it. Ah, ah, thank you, Hopkins. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else, Mr. Lentz? Uh, no, no, that's all, thank you. Now, this is a corporate policy. It was taken out six months ago by a Clifford James. Sonia's business partner. Yes, it's based on the projected loss of income in the event of her death, three million pounds. I take it Mr. Vell does know about this? Not necessarily, no. Policy of this size, she must have taken a medical. Of course. But you see, six months ago, she took out a life insurance policy of her own. So what you're saying is the one medical covered both the policies? Exactly. Clifford James arranged the corporate policy. He would be the sole beneficiary. Which gives him good reason to kill her. Hmm. Linda, darling. Sonia wanted some blue fake fur on the collar. Can Clifford, you? can't you see? I'm doing. Always... Thanks. Clifford! Someone's taken the dat. What? 
the, the tape, the music for the show. In that okay, Sonia's got it. Why? There's only one copy. I don't know why. You ask her, Carl. Then she arrives. <laughs> Would you put the car around the back? I have a place. Sure. Good luck and don't worry. I'll be fine. This way, Sonia. Don't be a pig. What the? Linda! What is it? What have you done, you stupid? I said I wanted the lilac fur on this collar. Lilac! I'm sorry, but. And this stitch work, it's dreadful. That was my fault, Sonia. I did it. Excuse me, but it was not your fault. She's meant to be in charge of the dresses, she's the one who screwed up. Clifford said the blue. So now it's Clifford's fault. I'm fed up with you. Then you can do without me. I quit. Good. Wait a minute. I'll sort this out. Come on, little love. Let's quieten down and have a little... No, I've had enough. I've had enough of all of you. Come, come, come into the office and let's simmer down. All right. Right, everyone. Soldier. The dance. Yes. Here. I'd have liked to have had it tested, you know. You tested it yesterday, Carl. What's the problem? Come on, everyone. Let's get this show together.
chapel! Move, 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 back away, move, move! Don't sit in the space! There's been a shooting. We have a suspect running north from the church. Is there a doctor here? I've had medical training. That's not good enough. I'm a goddamn doctor. No, I'm a doctor. Let him through. Somebody call an ambulance. Please, get an ambulance. You've got to move her out of here. What? Somewhere private. Uh, she has an office back there. Right, help me with her. I don't think you should try and Just move her. Just call the bloody ambulance. What's happened to you? I got invited to a barbecue. What's happened here? Sonia's been shot. What? Where is she? In the office. That's the doctor. How is she? I'm sorry, there's nothing I could do. searches the entire department in and around this building day and night and still somebody manages to shoot Sonia Deval right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Shut it, Morris. Sorry, Chief. I take it the man you were chasing got away? Yeah, he was last seen on the station road, but well, then he just disappeared. Nice work. Did you get a description? No, Chief. I, if I could have just got closer. If you could have just run faster. Are you sure the shots came from the chapel? Turner? Well, they just sounded, I don't know, nearer. We found this gun behind the screen. The killer dropped it before he ran. Or she. Could, it could have been either. A man, a woman. But you're sure it was human? Check it for prints when we're finished here, will you, Turner? Yes, Chief. Was this chapel checked before the show began? Yes. So someone must have come in from the outside. What about the chapel door? Well, I, I checked that too, but it was locked. Okay, so they must have had a key. Excuse me, aren't we forgetting one other major issue here? While all this was going on, someone was also trying to kill me. Yes, if you were locked in the boot of that car, how exactly did you get out? Well, that's the point, Chief. It wasn't locked. If it had have been, I would never have been able to kick it open. <sighs> that doesn't make any sense. That's 30 officers here. Why pick on you? I don't know. Maybe it was because I was closest to Sonia. That's true. What? If Slade was attacked at the same time as Sonia was shot, that means there must have been two of them. So the question we should be asking ourselves is, who wasn't here when the shot was fired? What about Clifford James? No, he was here. I saw him. But I tell you who wasn't. Linda Deval. Sonia's sister. Linda was hopeless, completely hopeless. I mean, she had this idea that she could design clothes herself, but uh, of course it never came to anything. Why does she work here? She needed the money. Sonia helped her in every way that she could, but you know, Linda was never grateful. The two of them argued before the show began. <sighs> Blue fur, lilac fur, I don't know. Maybe Sonia went a bit far, but she was always tense before a big show, and with all the threats. I tried to talk to Linda, but she wouldn't listen. She walked out that door, and that was the last I saw of her. Excuse me. We've managed to lift a fingerprint off the gun. Who's? Linda's. I got a match from her sewing machine. Do you have an address for Linda Javal? Well, yes. Didn't you know? It's, it's the same as Sonia's. Sonia had a self-contained flat at the top of her house, and she rented it out to Linda. At less than half the market rate. I told you. Sonia did everything she could to help that girl. Everything and more. That's it, up there. She's got her own entrance around the back. Nothing. 
What? Her clothes, nothing. She's packed and gone. Come and look at these. Linda's designs. They're not bad. In fact, they're good. I'm sure they give her lots of encouragement in Holloway. What? If we find her. Oh, well, at least we know who did it. I don't think we do. What? Of course it was her. One, she was jealous of Sonia. According to Clifford. Two, it was her fingerprints on the rifle. And three, she's just done a run. I don't think she has. Her clothes! Yes, but why leave these behind? These must have mattered to her more than what she was wearing. Excuse me. You were the one who named her in the first place. Wasn't it you who found the print on the gun? Yes, but I talked to her. Linda was unhappy, frustrated, but there wasn't any violence there. She did it. No! There's something else. If you ask me, there's something wrong about this whole thing. Go on. Well, go on. First, there was a shot. Now, I don't think it came from the chapel. But that was where we found the gun. Second, why was Clifford so anxious to move Sonia after she'd been shot? That was the last thing I would have done. Meaning? Meaning maybe she was going to tell me something. Maybe there was something Clifford didn't want me to hear. No, it was Linda and A another. We find her, we find the other. Place closed. Slade? How can you be so... So right. So wrong. I'll show you. I shouldn't be doing this. Why? What's the problem? You are. Ever since I told you about the machine, I've had nothing but trouble. I've been locked up in jail, had lunatics chasing me, two car smashes, been attacked with a knife. Yes, and you've also solved two murders, a blackmail racket and an art fraud. Yes, but it's not my world, Slade. I'm a scientist, not a detective. Just promise me you won't do anything irresponsible. Me? Remember what I told you about schisms? Schisms? A clash of two temporal dimensions. You and you colliding in time. Now, it's only theoretical, but according to the theory, if you make eye contact with yourself, the result could be a massive implosion. Okay. No, not just for you, Slade, for the entire universe. Okay, all right. Okay. It's ready. It's ready. Right. Let's go. To. Oh, they told me we're going to step outside into the Great Plague. Not that far. Twenty hours. Eight o'clock yesterday evening. Let's go to church. So, this is where Sonia was taken after she'd been shot. Hmm. It's also the last place you saw Linda before she disappeared. Empty. That leads outside. Clifford James and Linda Duval went into the office together, right? Yes. Now, I was parking the car just over there, so Clifford could easily have come out, coshed me, and all the rest of it, and still got back in time. And you think that Linda... Went this way. But the two of them working together, why? The money. Kiffa takes me, Linda takes her sister. That's a million and a half pounds each. But that still doesn't answer Gresham's question. Why try to kill you? I'm working on it. This is where Nikki saw someone with a gun. He didn't say it was a woman. He didn't say it wasn't. Whoever it was had a clear view of the stage. Yeah. And a quick way out. It can't have been Linda. 
If she was really planning to kill her sister, why bother with letters and death threats in the first place? Ah, oh, glad you asked that one. There's a guard. We're going to need a place to stay. A hotel. Well, what's wrong with your place? I'm there. The other me. The schism. Right. I haven't got a penny on me. Well, I'm OK. I can go back to my place. You're not there? No. You can come if you like. But I warn you, it's not up to much. OK. It's a bed for the night. I haven't got that far. What happened to the furniture? Well, that's what I was uh, trying to tell you. Once I'd finished paying for the flat, I couldn't afford the furniture. It's very you. What, big and empty? No, original. How did you find it? What, this place? Well, it was through an investigation. Murder. Oh, don't tell me you got this flat from someone who was murdered. Oh, no. No, he was the murderer. I found him under recommendation. Do you want a beer? Have you got any wine? Um, no, I haven't. Oh, well, beer's fine. Who's this? Hmm? Oh, just someone I know. Here. Thanks. It's twist top. Well, I'd last, do you? Well, I wouldn't mind. Uh... Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. You must be hungry. I'm starving. Right, I'll see what I can do then. Smells delicious, Slade. You sound surprised. No. Yes. No, I don't know. So much about you, I don't know. Cheers. So, tell me then, why did you join the police? Uh, my dad was a policeman. Was? Yeah, he's retired. I don't see him anymore. Do you live here alone? Mm hmm. The girl in the picture? And she's dead. Oh. No, it happened a long time oh, ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, don't worry, it's okay. Did she teach you how to cook? No, that was my mum. This has been a wonderful evening, Slade. <laughs> Maybe one day your machine can send us back a week. We'd have to book into a hotel then. Somewhere where we couldn't bump into ourselves. <laughs> well, there's no chance of that tonight. No? No. I won't be back until the morning. So, where are you? What? Well, I'm asleep in my flat. Mm -hmm. You won't be back till the morning. Where are... Oh, my God, you're with her, aren't you? Who? Sonia Duval. How could I forget? What do you mean? Here you are entertaining me with pasta and designer beer in one time zone, while at the very same time... Oh, oh, I gave you that idea. You did! Boasting about it, like... What? Do you know how that makes me feel, Slade? Do you know how no, cheap no, that no, makes no, me won't. feel? No! <laughs> what did you do that for? I don't want to talk to you. Right. Fine. Fine. That's what you want to believe? This is the bedroom. One bed, one mattress, one duvet. I'm sleeping down here. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm telling you.
We've got eight and a half hours till we need to be back at the machine. Five hours until the start of the show. Ah, uh -huh. here's Linda Duval. And that's Clifford James. Clifford James and Linda. Interesting. These drawers were empty the last time we were here. So what do I mean the next time we're here? You mean before we time traveled? Right. The thing is, she's left for the show, but she hasn't packed. Which proves it can't have been her. Why not? If she wanted to make a quick getaway after shooting her sister, she'd have got these things ready by now. Yeah, you've got a point. Look, do you want to talk? What about? About last night. I just don't understand. Forget it. I haven't got anything to say. Well, maybe I have. What are you doing here? Sonia. Do you often come up here? No, hardly ever. But I heard voices. I was worried. Why are you here? It's just a security check. Security? But you don't think Linda's got anything to do with these threats? No, no. Slade, we've got that last minute briefing, remember? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, and I've got to get changed so I can come and pick you up. Right. But this time, why don't you use the front door? By the way, I don't want you to go out on the catwalk. What? At the end of the show, that is what you do, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Well, it could be dangerous. But I have to. It's the finale. I always go out with my models. No, not this time. I'll stick with you backstage. I think it's for the best. Whatever you say. You never give up, do you? Trying to change the past? Well... You never know. No, that's just the point. You do. Anyway, whatever you may have told Sonia, you mustn't go backstage. Why not? Oh, schisms. It's not just that. If anyone sees you, how are you going to explain how you managed to be in two places at once? No one must know about the machine, Slade. Now, you promised okay, me... Okay, okay. I'll keep out of sight. What about you? I'm going to watch you get knocked out. Don't stop them. It'll happen the way it happened. Except this time, I'm going to see who did it. That's where I'm going to park in about five minutes. I'll meet you back here. And don't worry, no schisms. Just make sure you get a good description of whoever it is. Oh, I can do better than that. Brilliant.
shooting. We have a suspect running north from the church. Everyone went chasing after someone, realizing it must be you. How did you know where I was? The briefing. Don't you remember? Morris said he lost you on Station Road. Of course. Good girl. Woo! All right, you got that. Oh, this is brilliant. This is so brilliant. I can't believe you don't enjoy this. The man who hit you was a doctor. No, he's not a doctor. But I know who he is. pictures in this time zone because in this time zone I wasn't there. So it's a paradox. And don't tell me, time won't allow paradoxes. You're learning. Right. Now let me get this straight. This doctor knocked me out, drove off and came back on a motorbike. He went into the church, then when it was all over he came out again. But he picked somebody up. They came out of the office but I couldn't see who it was. They were wearing a, a motorbike helmet. Must have been Linda Duval after all. Did you see who fired the gun? Nobody fired the gun. The gun didn't fire. That doesn't make sense. No, it all makes sense. You just have to look at it the right way. Why are we waiting here? Because I want to make sure they're together, Chief. They should be coming out any minute now. How do you know? Because they're booked on the 650 flight to Miami. First class, of course. So who actually lives here, then? It's rented. In the name of Hopkins. Andrew Hopkins. Or Dr. Hopkins, when it suits him. You know, you've really got to hand it to them. When a man in the crowd shouts, let me throw, I'm a doctor, everyone assumes he is a doctor, and that is the way it all worked. You've got them, Slate. They're moving now. There! Oh. 
Clifford James, you know. This is Andrew Hopkins. Yes, but who is he? He's the clerk who arranged Sonia's insurance. Well done, Nicky. He's also the man who tried to kill me. Here, Morris, look after him for me, will you? He's saying the two of them killed her? Not exactly. Excuse me. It was three of them. Hopkins, James, and Sonia Duval. It was all an insurance fraud. A big, big insurance fraud. Three billion pounds worth. Uh, Three point two if there's a bonus yield from the growth in underlying investment. Hopkins knew that if you're going to fake your own death for that sort of money, you're going to have to do it properly. That's why he started off with the threatening letters and phone calls, and then, of course, that phony shooting at Sonia's house. They wanted to make sure we'd all be at the fashion show. What better witnesses than an entire police department? But we saw Sonia's shot. We were there. Ah, wrong. There were no actual shots. Sonia had recorded them onto the soundtrack. So who is it in the morgue? Her sister. Correct. Linda Duval. Clifford James takes Linda into the office and shoots her. He then dresses her in the same clothes as Sonia and hides her in the cupboard in the corner. So Sonia's pretending to be dead. Clifford and the doctor take her into the office. And they swap places. Clifford had already planted the gun in the chapel with Linda's fingerprints on it, and Sonia simply cleared out Linda's flat to make it look like she'd done a runner. Easy. But I don't get it. I mean, how could anyone mistake Linda Duval for her sister? Nobody looked. Everyone had clearly seen Sonia get shot, so there was no reason to doubt the body wasn't Sonia. Except it wasn't. I never trusted her right from the start. Okie dokie, spit it out. What? This business with Sonia and me. I don't want to talk about that. Well, maybe I do. I never gave you the idea that I'd spent the night with her. You did? I heard you talking back at the office. Go on. It's none of my business. No, no, no. Tell me. Tell me. I want to know. It was on the main stairs coming in. You were saying how you spent the night. She twisted your arm. You found it hard to say no. I mean, even Morris knew you'd been given a bed for the night. Oh. Not, of course, that it's anything to do with me. <laughs> it was a roll-up bed, Holly, in the church. Grisham twisted my arm. She asked me to sleep in the church for extra security. Do you remember that guard that came in when we were in the chapel? That wasn't you. <laughs> well, how else did I know he was going for a coffee? Oh, no. Oh, you don't really think I fancied her, do you? No. Yes. Yes. It's because you fancied her, you nearly got yourself killed. <laughs> Haven't you worked it out yet? When we were time traveling, you told Sonia that you were going to stop her going onto the catwalk. As far as she was concerned, that was going to ruin her plan. That's why she tried to have you burnt. Yeah, but I escaped. With a little help from a friend. You didn't. What? You thought the car unlocked itself? But hang on. That means you changed the past. No, 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 no. I was the past. Quite different. I think we should start again. Would you like a beer? Have you got any wine? Uh, yeah. There's the hams I have. You wouldn't have any glasses as well, by any chance? <laughs> 